Greetings YouTube, it is I, the saviour of the galaxy, and here we are back on Mass Effect, back, well, I don't know, welcome to Mass Effect 2, um, before jumping into, uh, the game, let me just say thank you very much, uh, for all of the, uh, support you've had for Mass Effect, for my gameplay of Mass Effect 1, um, it's really nice, I had a lot to say and I just forgot what I <laughs> wanted to say. Um, I've been trying to do this intro for, it's the fourth time, <laughs> actually. Um, what did I want to say? Mm. Uh, as you can tell, we're going to play 16 by 9 because I realized that maybe more pleasing to the eye. Um, thank you very much for the warm uh, reception that you've had for me on Mass Effect. Um, you cannot imagine how nice it is. That's not what I want to say. <laughs> I can't find the words. It's a pain. Um, because, you know, when you start, let alone restart or revive a channel like I did uh, with Sanka Gaming, you never know how it's going to work. You don't know if your content is not good, you don't know if it's gonna be good, you have no one to ask questions to when you start, you know, because you don't have the feedback, so you do stuff in the hopes that it works out. Now, thanks to all of your comments, your advice, your feedbacks, I have a better idea of what to do for Mass Effect 2, and namely, I'm gonna take the time this time, yeah, to um, explore, to let my curiosity speak. Uh, when I recorded the Mass Effect 1 Let's Play, I didn't know exactly, obviously, if you guys would be interested into me just side-questing a lot uh, or not, or having extensive discussions with characters. But in the end, this is the type of stuff that I like to do, and apparently, luckily, you guys are in for it, because this is what you're looking for as well. So that's what we're going to do in this Let's Play and for Mass Effect 3. Um, I had plans for Mass Effect 1. I wanted to romance Ashley, uh, actually, but never really got myself to do it. Uh, entertain discussions and so on. But we're going to try and do something with this Mass Effect 2. Uh, I'm going to dive a little bit more into the customization and that sort of stuff. And yeah, I don't know for how many parts we're going to go uh, as I'm filming this. Obviously, there's the Hogwarts Legacy Let's Play that's going on. And actually, uh, I'm recording this Let's Play and we are live on Twitch as well. And so as I'm saying this last night on Twitch, we finished the uh, Hogwarts Legacy main quest. So I know that there's like over 20 parts to this one, so I don't know how many parts there's going to be to Mass Effect 2, uh, depending on the side quest and everything. You know, it's going to take the time that it's going to take. Um, I think this is about everything that I wanted to say, so we are just going to jump into the game. And I realized there was no music, no sound. Now there's sound. Um, so Mass Effect 2, new game, hmm. remote stuff, here we are, new game. So the question is, do we import our Mass Effect 1 character or not? Um, you know, I kind of want to start fresh because I do not feel like I had the opportunity to do everything that I wanted to do with my character in Mass Effect 1, so I'd rather start with a new character and customizing him and so on, because I didn't realize how extensive the customization could have been in Mass Effect 1. Uh, normal subtitles, yeah, all of these. So 
obviously we got rid of... Shepard did everything right. More than we could have hoped for. Commander Shepard uncovered the truth. Elusive man. And still it's not enough. We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. <laughs> this is not ominous. Geth. Geth. We both know they're not the real threat. The Reapers are still out there. And it's up Someone to us to stop them. them. The Council will never trust Cerberus. They'll never accept our help. Even after everything humanity has accomplished. But Shepard... They'll follow him. He's a hero, a bloody icon. But he's just one man. If we lose Shepard, humanity might well follow. Then see to it that we don't lose him. The eyes? Okay. In 2183, the heart of the galactic community suffered a devastation. That the Citadel space station was invaded by a synthetic GAF army attempting to open a portal for the Reapers and almost smashed the eradicated civilization. Commander Shepard led to the offensive, defense saving the Citadel. Ah, it's too fast always, every time! See, I tried to go fast. Tried to, really did. Disengaging FTL drives. Emission sinks active. Board is green. We are running silent. Joker! We're wasting our time. Four days searching up and down this sector, and we haven't found any sign of Geth activity. Three ships went missing here in the past month. Something happened to them. My money's on slavers. The Terminus system is crawling with them. Picking up something on the long range scanner. Unidentified vessel. Hmm. Looks like a cruiser. Doesn't match any known signatures. Cruiser is changing course. Now on intercept trajectory. Can't be. Stealth systems are engaged. There's no way a Geth ship could possibly. It's not the Geth. Brace for evasive maneuvers! The Gears. Oh. That's it. I thought that was a mass relay. Whoa! Presley. Kinetic barriers down. Multiple hull breaches. Weapons offline. Somebody get that whoa, fire whoa, whoa. Are we gonna lose Normandy? That means a new ship. <sighs> what? Oh, Liara. <laughs> I don't see exactly what the difference was, but okay. okay. This game is way more violently crude or... Oh yeah, the Normandy is lost. Definitely. Okay. Go to the copy, get the Joker and the copy on the other deck. Uh, I'm not three. 
Okay. Uh, I need to remember controls. Whoa. I have to say that's very cool. There's like mineral elements to it. I mean, there was some. Like, it was part of an asteroid or. I don't know. Maybe it's more like a station. Watch the arm. So cinematic. It's Joker, all right. I don't know, I feel like I diverted my... Uh, I blinked and he wasn't there anymore. I don't know. We're gonna be fine. <laughs> Mass Effect Genesis. Okay. It's an interactive comic that summarizes the event of Mass Effect 1. If you skip this auction, Shepard's default backstory will be used. Jack choose the interactive comic. Well, hell yeah. Let's do this. Just another routine mission. Why do they always say that before a mission? Of course it's routine. You haven't done anything yet. It's everything that happens along the way. The choices you make, the paths you choose, that turn the routine into anything but. Of course, that's how it started. A routine mission, answering a distress call. And look where that got me. We were testing out the Normandy, Captain Anderson's new ship, when the distress call came in. An Alliance patrol on Eden Prime had been attacked. They'd seen something they couldn't explain. And whatever it was, it was massive. I hit the ground with my lieutenant, Caden Olenko. A good kid, loyal, by the book, with a talent for biotics. We came across the lone survivor of the patrol, Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams. A soldier to the core. Tough, disciplined, ready to take on whatever came her way. Ashley joined up with us and took us to the spot where she lost her squad. That's when we saw it. The ship like nothing I'd ever seen. It was massive, scorching the colony and everything around it as it blasted away. It was no we ship. The of destruction to an artifact, a beacon left by a long dead race called the Protheans. The colony had dug it up. I can't believe that the shoes was under our nose from the very Chief beginning, made you know. mistake of getting too close. It hit her with some type of energy. Like in the end, we I saw the a reaper the from the very beginning That's of the Mass Effect me. 1. Hard. Every muscle in my body went rigid. I couldn't move, could barely breathe. Everything went black. And then I saw something. A vision, a dream, a nightmare. 
By the time I woke up, we were halfway to the Citadel on our way to meet the Council. I was expected to explain what I'd seen. Anderson came along. So did Adina, our political representative on the Citadel. With those two heavyweights, it seemed reasonable we could persuade the Council that the ship we'd seen was a potential threat. As was the individual behind the attacks. The main suspect for the Eden Prime Massacre was a Turian Spectre named Saren. He'd been seen by one of the survivors from the colony at Eden Prime, and there was some evidence to suggest that the ship was connected to Saren. But even Adina's pointed accusations weren't enough to convince the Council. They just couldn't believe one of their chosen elite Spectres could be guilty of something like that. They needed proof. Which meant I needed proof. Fortunately, I wasn't alone in my search. Garrus, another Turian, wanted to help. A top agent for Citadel Security. Despite orders from his superiors that he shouldn't get involved, he told me he was suspicious of Saren, and he had some useful leads. More importantly, he was willing to share them. That led me to Rex, the biggest, nastiest looking Krogan bounty hunter I'd ever seen. He turned out to be more than just a brute. It was his intel that led to a fugitive with incriminating evidence on Saren. The fugitive turned out to be an energetic little quarian named Tally. A tech expert with a knack for hacking, she'd procured some information on Saren. Evidence that proved Saren was dirty. Tally's evidence proved that Saren was responsible for the massacre on Eden Prime, and that the immense warship we'd spotted was in fact Saren's flagship. But it went much further. Saren was trying to find a way to bring back a race of sentient machines from dark space. Machines allegedly responsible for cleansing the galaxy of all organic life. These Reapers were blamed for wiping out all life 50,000 years ago, including the Protheans, then disappearing back to the mass thousand years space, earlier as well. leaving no trace they'd ever been. That explained why Saren was after the beacon, and it made some sense out of my visions. But not much else. We couldn't convince the Council that the Reapers were a threat, but they agreed Saren had to be stopped. They stripped him of his Spectre status and gave me the honor of becoming the first human Spectre. My first task? bring down Saren. Anderson decided to stay behind, giving up his ship, the Normandy. He told me I would need it more than he would. He also pointed me in a direction. Liara, a Prothean expert, adept in biotics, and maybe most importantly, daughter of Benezia, Saren's top lieutenant. And like most Asari, it's Matriarch as beautiful Benezia as she is to you, please, born with sir. a unique ability to meld with other species. Liara was able to help me decipher some of the vision the beacon had given me. Nothing concrete, but it gave me some clues. And a new appreciation for the Asari. Her technique for accessing my vision was unexpected, but not at all unpleasant. Ashley was a little concerned about the connection I shared with Liara. As commander, I knew either relationship had the potential to interfere with the mission. Oh, well, I didn't romance anyone you know what um, I didn't get to do what I wanted to do but I'll own to my choices You, you know what? I'll take it as a pass because you know how much I wanted to romance Ash. I'll take it as a pass. I told Ash I wasn't interested in Liara. I had my eyes on someone else. But we agreed we wouldn't let it get in the way of our mission. Yeah, good. Yeah, because Finding in any ways I wasn't interested in Liara, so... Thanks to Liara's help, we had our next lead. Benezia. Saren had taken her to Novaria, where he'd enslaved a dangerous race of insect-like creatures, the Rachni. He ordered Benezia to use the same technique Liara had used on me to extract information from the Rachni Queen. The Queen's drones were everywhere, and they weren't happy. We had to fight through hundreds of them to get to Benezia. By the time we arrived, Saren was gone. With the information. I tried to reason with Benezia, but Saren had indoctrinated her. 
He had somehow acquired the ability to control people's actions and wills. Benezia wouldn't surrender, and Liara was forced to watch her mother die in her arms. And I was left with an angry, dangerous Rachni queen to deal with. She claimed her drones would do no harm if I released her. But the Rachni had terrorized the galaxy before. I couldn't do it. I wouldn't doom an entire species for past sins. And the queen was true to her word. She left and took her army of drones with her. With Saren's top foot oh, no. dead, he was quickly running out of time and places to hide. I tracked him down at his base on Vermeer, but we soon learned it was more than a base of operations. It was a breeding ground. Saren was breeding an army of Krogan. He'd found a cure for the Genophage, a disease inflicted on the Krogan to prevent them from breeding and taking over the galaxy. But the Krogan Saren was breeding were slaves, mindless beasts that obeyed Saren's will. I had to destroy the base and all its research. Rex disagreed. Violently. Rex wanted the Genophage cure for his people. I tried to convince him to help me destroy it, that these Krogan weren't real. But he wouldn't back down. We're gonna keep this one now. He just couldn't be reasoned as I played it. And I couldn't let the base be saved, even if it meant curing the Krogan. Saren had to be stopped. When we finally got to the center of the base, I realized just how close Saren was to completing his plan. He was already in communication with the Reapers. Sovereign, Saren's flagship we'd all assumed was just a ship, was a Reaper. It spoke to bum, me, bum, bum. threatened me. I could feel the menace it had for every living thing. It wanted me dead. It wanted us all dead. I don't know if he threatened you. it was you. capable of doing just that. Just what told I you that was why here's Saren what's going to happen. It. It's not. But there was no time to think about it. It's not Sovereign intimidation, we really. We had to destroy the base and get the hell out. I split up my team in two squads, sending Ash with one and Caden with the other as a distraction. We had a nuke, and we planned to use it. Before we could detonate the bomb, Saren showed up. We fought. I stalled him to make time for my team. And in talking to him, I realized the truth. It wasn't Saren who was indoctrinating everyone. It was Sovereign. The Reaper. And Saren was in deeper than all of them. He tried to convince me he was still in control, said he found a way to reduce the Reaper's influence, but he was kidding himself. Or believing the lies Sovereign was telling him. Before mm, that I could convince him to stop, you know. he ran, leaving me just seconds to extract my squad mates. I tried, but I wasn't I wouldn't be as time. adamant as Shepard on this one. I could only save one of them. Okay, so, okay, because I did wonder a moment if maybe there had been a way to save both, but no. Caden was a good man, and a great soldier, but I had to choose, and I chose Ash. That was the last time Saren would slip away from me. I knew then, the next time we met, one of us would die. With my team mostly intact, we chased Saren and his army to Ilos, a long-lost planet that had once belonged to the Protheans. As we prepared for what we knew would be a desperate fight, I spoke to my crew. We were just one ship against Saren's growing army. I assured them all that despite the odds, we could defeat him. But Ash saw through my words. She knew I was hurting after Caden's death. She could sense my doubts. Unfortunately, this we isn't something this we played. Could be our last. Until that moment, we'd put our feelings aside for the sake of that mission. But why wait? We gave in to each other, and it was perfect. While it lasted, we arrived on Ilos, close behind Saren. Once on the planet, we discovered a Prothean databank that helped me put the final pieces of my vision together. The Reapers had come 50,000 years ago, and every 50,000 years mm, before hey. that, each time purging the galaxy of life. The Protheans had fought and died, like every species before them. But a few survived long enough to leave a parting gift. The Protheans had discovered that the Citadel was the key to controlling the mass relays. By sabotaging the Citadel, they found a way to close the relays to dark space, slowing the Reaper's return, giving us the time we needed to find a solution to stop the Reapers once and for all. Saren knew this. He was leading his army to take control of the Citadel and re-establish the relays to dark space, bringing the waiting Reapers here to destroy us all. 
We followed him to the Citadel. It was intact, but heavily damaged. He had caught the Council fleets by surprise and they were only now regrouping. And with Sovereign as his flagship, there was little hope the fleets could counterattack with enough strength to take back the Citadel. But Saren was done running, and I was done chasing him. As the Alliance and Citadel fleets battled Saren's army outside, Damn, they have a tube the in there. In the Citadel yeah. tower in the PP. He died believing that the Reapers would save him. As I fought to regain control of the Citadel, the Council's flagship, the Destiny Ascension, fell under attack. Despite Saren's death, Sovereign and Saren's army continued to fight. The Council was aboard the Destiny Ascension, and they were requesting assistance. But I knew in order to help them, I would have to put our Human Alliance fleet in jeopardy. The Council could be replaced. The fleets yeah. were needed here and now if we were going to defeat Sovereign. It's not like Even his four members were really uh, uh, ace. And the Normandy leading the combined galactic fleet. The battle against Sovereign, a single Reaper, was relentless. It took the combined fleets of humanity and the other races. But in the end, Sovereign fell. The I didn't Picasso's really get why Sovereign just clings to the... Thing like While this, humanity's but, efforts in the yeah. war earned us our first seat on the council, it was a hollow victory. The Reapers were still out there. I knew the fight was far from over, but as the one who'd led the fight against Saren, I was given new responsibilities. give my series. Uh, the choice of this. humanity's first counselor was left for me to decide. Regarding what was gonna. On the one hand, what may come. Medina, the lifetime politician, ruthless and ambitious. He would easily navigate the political landmines that would soon be put in front of him. The other choice? Captain Anderson, the career soldier. Tough but fair, but a friend, and someone I could trust. Both great leaders in their own right. <laughs> Udina, <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Anderson didn't want the job, which was a sure sign he'd be perfect for it. No ambition to get in the way. The war was over. The threat had passed. In time, the Council would rebuild itself. The Citadel could be repaired. Even the pain of lost friends would fade. But none of that mattered if the Reapers were still out there. And if they were all as powerful as Sovereign, we had to find a way to stop them. I had to find a way. I gathered my crew, took my ship, and went in search of answers. Officially, the Council would only say I was assigned to cleanup duty rooting out any remnants of Saren's army. Just another routine mission. Hmm. Very nice storytelling. Wasn't too long, because there was quite a lot to sum up, but it was perfect time. What are these visuals? Commander Shepard has been recovered. The Lazarus oh. project will proceed as planned. Lazarus? No. No, this is not what they mean. This is exactly what they mean. I hope this won't have any lasting effects. <laughs> Ah, here we are. Ah, I'm gonna sneeze. Oh no! Oh no! Worst feeling ever! I didn't sneeze. Oh, this is definitely the worst feeling ever, you know, when you're about to sneeze and you didn't. Oh no! Oh wow. Okay. Uh, before going with the customization, let me just say, so yes, yeah, so there's still the Reapers out there. Uh, the master day is gone, so what could be next? It's interesting these new two new characters, Miranda and the Elusive Man. Uh, I think that the Miranda lady, I did saw her on the poster for Mass Effect 2. There was also an alien. Don't remember seeing anybody in a wheelchair or something like that. Um, perhaps the Reapers are just going to take the long way around. You know, maybe the camera is. 
camera is too much on the side. I don't like that. Wait a second. I'm probably going to move it later because... Because... Um, there you are. Probably going to move it later because I'm going to sit. You know what? I'm going to sit right now. I've been sitting down during all of yesterday's stream and I needed to stand up a little bit today. Um, maybe they're just going to take the long way around and fly, you know, through space to come back to where we are, uh, to the galaxy. And now question is, do the Reapers only take care of our galaxy or are there maybe other Reapers taking care of other galaxies as well? Maybe just the same group of Reapers. You know, maybe they're not that much in dark space. Maybe just there is a big group of Reapers and they go from galaxy to galaxy to galaxy. They just do this and... Maybe there's a 50,000 years cycles, you know, to do all of the ones that they have to do. I don't know. I'm just, you know, maybe we're not going to deal with any of this, but <laughs> interesting. Um, it's going to be quite a ride. So yeah, let me just check the sound because I reckon the sound maybe is maybe a bit low. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Um, let's have one camera that's not configured the way I want it. Now that I have moved. This one. Put it. This. I'll go grab my uh, pillow. <laughs> pillow. for my aching butt and I don't okay should be good let's move this camera camera should be fine that way yes no I'm not good not good am I hmm wait Calling yourself to play, it's difficult. Yeah. That will do it. That will do it. I'll move it like this. I think I'm good. All right, okay, so sorry for the delay. It's not going to be cut, I reckon, because I like to keep things full in the game, in the, in the video. So first name, we're going to call ourselves Philip. Philip Shepard. Custom mail. Select custom appearance. Okay. Facial structure. 
So let's do me. We're gonna do me. I will try to do me, because... <laughs> Why, 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 why are they red? They're definitely red, aren't they? Shoot, okay, can do it. They're definitely red. Ah, uh, it's gonna be difficult for the, the camera. Okay, the facial structure, I don't know, because it's always the most difficult thing. Uh, and more. Like this, let's take this one. Complexion. I'm gonna touch that. Shoot. Neck thickness. I don't have a thick neck. Face size. That's a strange shape. It's not really possible to do a, a pretty character. It's like, I'm gonna do, shoot. I'm gonna do the nose first. So I feel like the nose is most defining. out of frame as well. There you go. Mm. Ah. Oh, no. Maybe the closest. Hmm. Ah, the bloody nostrils. We're not gonna have a pretty character, are we?
should have just gone with Shepard. That knows the best, I think. Yeah, well... to something. I always cheat on the eyes. Yeah, I have that thing where I have a draw that goes up here, but I can't uh, can't get that here. Maybe we're playing with the neck thickness. Maybe I don't know. Hmm. Close enough, I guess. And then we, uh, uh, see what we got, but it's military, so. Nothing really interesting here. Oh, and that's the only interesting 
The eyes are too narrow in my opinion. I'll try and fix this. gonna be me <laughs> I think any hopes you may have of trying to have a trying to find someone who may resemble you uh, may forget it. <laughs> These eyes are really scary. These ones on the moon, quite normal but quite small. Let's go with these ones. I think that's it. Doesn't resemble me, not one bit, even, even without the glasses. Obviously, I got the glasses, but. So I don't see myself, but. So. I don't think it's. Uh, But hey, there's something bothering me, I don't know what it is. Cheekbones are a bit too big. She gone to maybe a bit too much. Okay, you know what? Pretty content with this guy here. Let me just check for the eye, the iris. You know what? I'm gonna have white eyes. Here we go. So someone said not to go in filtrator. So I don't know what I should be going. I'm just go I'm, I'm someone re they recommended Vanguard as well. Let's see. I developed a protein are outfitted with the Oculus Innovative Processor that allow them to focus on targets with little accuracy, power training, and also does a repair combat specialist. I'm gonna play it RP. I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with an RP decision, sorry. Soldiers are pure combat specialists, no one's stuff are more effective at taking down enemies with gunfire. Soldiers have the most thorough weapons training, can use all special ammo types. 
Image tracers are tech and combat specialists with the unique ability to cloak themselves for visual and technological detection. Infiltrators are deadly at any range with a wide variety of weapons, equipment, and powers that can take down any da any enemy. Vanguards are feared for their high ranking, high risk, high reward combat style. Closing quickly on enemies and destroying them at close range with weapons and biotic abilities, so basically it's a tank. Sentinels are unique, bringing both tech and biotic abilities to the battlefield while they lack the focus of adept and engineers, they are versatile and can handle any situation. Adepts are biotic scientists capable of disabling and killing enemies with raw bio biotic power. While they lack advanced combat training, they are the best at defeating enemies without firing a shot. Interesting. Enemies are tech specialties, they only the only class able to employ combat drones on the battlefield. The engineers are the most effective class at blasting through enemy defenses and disabling opponents. Combat drone overload, incinerate, cryo blast, weapon training, heavy pistol, machine gun. Machine gun. Engineer is interesting. Adept is awesome though. Because you know what? I did soldier for Mass Effect 1. I know what it is like. I'd like to try a different style, so I believe that I'm not going to go with either Infiltrator or Vanguard. But Sentinel may be the best of both worlds. I feel like I feel like it may be the best of both worlds. Shockwave infiltrator. I have a feeling that adapt is what Liara is. You know what? Let's try something different, especially since I decided to go with the weird looks. Space colonist Earthborn. Both the parents were in the Alliance. Alliance. The Alliance. Oh yeah, sorry, you don't see the. <laughs> My bad. Both your parents were in the Alliance military. Your child. Your child. Your childhood was spent on ships and. I want to have a. I want to be the hero with a tragic past. By the way, I'm just noticing, my eyes are a bit. A bit too wide. I mean, this face is quite... never really...
Yeah. Okay, during your military service mission you were on went horribly wrong, trapped in a life threatening situation. You had to overcome physical torments and fees and psychological stresses that would have broken most people. Everyone around you fell and you almost survived to tell the tale. And you alone survived to tell the tales. That was what the background was last time. Ruthless. Your achievements give you access to the following bonus powers. Okay. Armor, piercing armor, barrier, slam, fortification, energy drain. Energy drain could be quite good. Is it going to restore our health? Could be a, 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 a valuable one. Neural shock. Not sure what it is. Reeve. Not sure what it is either. Uh, and they don't provide any information. Let's take energy drain. Because if that can hurt the enemy and benefit us at the same time, it would be awesome. Neural shock could have been good, but it's just a stun, yeah. Accept. Accept. Confirm. That's Shepard. Revived. He's reacting to outside stimuli, showing an awareness of his surroundings. Oh my god, Miranda, I think he's waking up. Damn it, Wilson, he's not ready yet. Give him the sedative. Shepard, I'm ready. Don't try to move. Just lie still. Try to stay calm. Heart rate's still climbing. Brain activity is off the charts. Staff pushing into the red zone. It's not working. Another dog. Now. Not <laughs> better comments. Heart rate dropping. Stats falling back into normal range. That was too close. We almost lost him. I told you your estimates were off. Run the numbers again. Right. Wake up, Commander. Hello, new me. Shepard, do you hear me? Get out of that bed now. This facility is under attack. Shepard, your scars aren't healed, but I need you to get moving. This facility is under attack. I think the, the idea of having a new a appearance is quite. Good with the idea that we just got resuscitated. Res res This pistol doesn't have a thermal clip. It's a med thing. We'll get you a clip from. Damn it! Those canisters by the door are going to blow. Get behind cover now. Keep your okay, head okay, down, okay. Shepard. Shield yourself from the blast. Oh yeah. Thank you for the tutorial Someone's because. Attacking security, trying to kill you. Look for a thermal clip for your pistol. I don't remember the mechanics. Like button does everything.
They're droids or I don't know what they are. Don't waste time. I can't keep the mix distracted for long. More reinforcements heading your way. Grab the grenade launcher off the security officer's body. Here come the mechs. Use the grenade launcher to take them out. Shoot. Oh, okay. Interesting. Ah, yeah. I remember. It's been a while, really. Take me a while to get back uh, on track with the Cerberus something. Cerberus. What is this? Laptop. Okay. Log update. The cost of this project is astronomical. Over four billion credits so far. But nobody seems to care that we've gone over budget. I don't know where the boss gets all his money. Maybe it's better. I just wish he'd kick a little more in my direction once in a while. Lock update. I can't figure Miranda out. Is it coming? You were still a work in progress. I just woke up. You probably know more than I do. Right, sorry about that. I'm Jacob Taylor. I've been stationed here for hostiles detected. Damn it. <laughs> Tell me about your life story later, maybe. Things must be worse than I thought if Miranda's got you running around. I'll fill you in, but we better get you to the shuttle first. It's your station, Jacob. I'll follow you. First step, let's finish off these metal bastards. We're low on thermal clips, but I'm a biotic. Just give the order when you want me to hit them with the good stuff. <laughs> Seems like I have some abilities too. Oh, RB. Power will. Wow. Pool? Is this poo? This is poo? Map power to... Okay, I don't know. No. Ah, how do I do this? I don't understand. Okay. 
I don't understand. I don't understand. I'm supposed to use this. But A use and I'm using it. Get it. Because this is warp. X. Sense. Okay. Ready to get the hell off this station. Before we go anywhere, I need some answers. Sure. What do you want to know? When I first woke up, someone named Miranda was talking to me over the radio. We lost contact just before I ran into you. Miranda Lawson is the station's ranking officer. She led the Lazarus team. It was her job to bring you back to life, no matter what. Should have guessed she'd try to save you. She's not about to give up on you now. You said you lost contact. Could you tell what was happening? You said they spent two years rebuilding me? How bad were my injuries? Two years? I'm no doctor, but it was bad. When I first saw you, you were nothing but meat and tubes. Anywhere else, they'd have put you in a coffin. But Project Lazarus was different. Cutting edge technology. What do you mean? Cloning? Cybernetics? I don't know the details. You'd have to ask the scientists. But I'm pretty sure you're not a clone. They wanted to bring you back exactly as you were. You're still you. You just might have a few extra bits and pieces now. A pretty challenge, uh, racism. What can you tell me about the project? Were there other test subjects? Project Lazarus only had one subject. The whole point was to bring you back. Just you. Even that was a challenge. Two years. All the top scientists. The best technology money could buy. The last thing I remember is the Normandy blowing up. Did anyone else make it? Just about everybody survived. A few servicemen from the lower decks didn't get out. Navigator Presley was killed by an explosion. But everyone else, including the Non-Alliance crew, the Asari, Liara, and the Quarian, they all made it out alive. Quarian? Which Quarian? Do you know what any of them are doing now? I don't know, Commander. Oh, the it's been yeah. two years. Uh, They've moved on. Left Tally. the Alliance. Could be anywhere. They were my team. If they knew I was alive, they'd come back. Maybe you can track them down after we get off the station. If we get off the station. Do you know anything about this attack? Who's behind it? What they're after? Damn if I know. I was getting ready for some shut-eye, then BAM! Bunch of explosions. Next thing I know, every damn mech in the place starts shooting. At us. I'm guessing it had to be an inside job. You'd need top security access to hack all the mechs. Oh, so that's an inside attack. What's the quickest way to those shuttles? Depends where the mechs are thickest. Probably best if we check. Check. Anyone on this frequency? Anybody still alive out there? Hello? Wilson, this is Jacob. I'm here with Commander Shepard. Just took out a wave of mechs over in D Wing. Shepard's alive? How the hell? Never mind. You need to get him out of there. Get to the service tunnels and head for the network control room. Roger that, Wilson. Stay on this frequency. I think I remember a Wilson checking on me one time when I woke up. That's him. He's the chief medical tech. Answers directly to Miranda. Come on. The service tunnels are this way. Okay. So that that new wheel is not really uh, not really straightforward because it's the A to use the power, but I press A, but then what? Because that do, but 
Pressing A doesn't do anything. I don't know. If I move that, I might be here, I might be there. Maybe if I do this and... Ride. But no. Sure thing. Try and use it on the next one. They've seen us. Damn it, Wilson. This room is crawling with mechs. The whole station is crawling with mechs. I'm doing the best I can. Not alive. Okay. Allied force casualty. Wilson, find us another route out of here. Wilson, where are you? Server room B! Hurry! They're out of control! Shepard! Down here! Bastards got me in the leg! You were there the first time I regained consciousness. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> How about we talk about this after we fix my leg? Should be some Metagel in the first aid station on the wall. Hopefully there's enough to get him up and moving again. Grab the Metagel from the first aid station on the wall. Select Unity. Use power. Shepard, <laughs> never thought you'd save my life. Guess that makes us even now, hmm? I thought maybe I could shut down the security mechs, but whoever did this fried the whole system. Completely irreversible. We didn't ask what you were doing. Why do you even have security mech clearance? You were in the bio wing. Weren't you listening? I came here to try and fix this. Besides, I was shot. How do you explain that? You're all strangers to me. Let's get someplace safe, then we'll sort out whose fault it is. Right, Shepard. We need to find Miranda. We can't leave her behind. Forget about Miranda. She was over in D-Wing. The mechs were all over that sector. There's no way she survived. A bunch of mechs won't drop Miranda. She's alive. Then where is she? Why haven't we heard from her? I have two possible her. explanations. She's either dead, or she's a traitor. Haven't known her long enough to trust her. This project was Miranda's baby. She'd never sabotage it. Okay, maybe she's not a traitor. But that doesn't change the facts. We're here, she's not. We need to save ourselves. The shuttle bay is only a few. We can overlook the canisters and put other things in the shuttles. Okay, so let me have a look. So these are the weapons. Okay, that hasn't changed. This is new. Oh, wait. Okay, I, I don't know why I was selecting pool, but okay, so this is the things for them to use. And here is how my things are mapped. To accept power and use overload on the crates. How? Oh, okay, when I select it, it uses it at once. Okay. Well, it's not that straightforward, really. Okay, we took him down, but this is getting tense. Shepard, I'll tell you who we work for. Appreciate you it. trust me? This really isn't the time, Jacob. We won't make it if he's expecting a shot in the back. If you want to piss off the boss, it's your ass, Jacob. The Lazarus Project, the program that rebuilt you. It's funded and controlled by Cerberus. Should I recognize that name? Hmm. Maybe that's a side effect of your recovery. 
You and Cerberus certainly have a history. According to the Alliance, we're a radical pro-human splinter group. You wiped out several of our research bases. But things change. The Alliance declared you dead. They gave up. Cerberus spent a fortune to bring you back. Look, I'd be suspicious too. But right now, we have to work together. I thought you deserved to know what's what. Once we're off the station, I'll take you to the elusive man. He'll explain everything. The promise. The elusive man? Is he in charge of all this? Yeah. That's not his real name, of course. Nobody knows who he really is. It was a code name the Alliance used for him. Kinda stuck. I don't care what his name is. He just needs to answer my questions. All of them. He spent a lot of money and time bringing you back. We've been spotted. I'm not sure I understand still how this works. Do I need to aim first and then press on the ability wheel? Let's see. Yeah, it's using it when I, where I... Where I'm aiming at this moment. Allied individual notes to find matching symbols. When you found two matching symbols, select them to complete the circuit, complete the circuit time hmm it's a nice one Okay. My job. Wilson betrayed us all. You should have taken him alive. See what he knew. Too risky. I've put too much time and effort bringing you back to life to let you get killed now. You really think Wilson's capable of that? Not anymore. <laughs> Funny. Even if you're sure, did he deserve that welcome? He sabotaged the security systems, killed my staff, and he would have killed us. You sure about that, Miranda? We've known Wilson for years. 
What if you're wrong? I'm never wrong. I thought you'd have learnt that by now, Jacob. If you say so. What's our next step? We get on the shuttle and go. My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive man? I know you work for Cerberus. Ah, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get him to join our cause. Well, since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, Commander? Miranda is a bit deadpan, isn't he? Isn't she? Where are we going? Another Cerberus facility. The elusive man is waiting for you there. I've had enough of this station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. Come on. Pretty good and intriguing Before start. Before you meet with the elusive man, we need to ask a few questions to evaluate your condition. Come on, Miranda. More tests? Shepard took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be good enough. It's been two years since the attack. The elusive man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. Ask the questions. Did you say two years? I've been gone that long? Two years and twelve days. And you were on an operating table for most of it. The sooner we start, the sooner we can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. Records show you were a spacer kid, raised mostly on one ship or another. You enlisted and led troops during some heavy fighting, most notably on Torfin. Do you remember taking on some Batarian slavers? Most of my squad died in that fighting. They call me the Butcher of Torfin. I wish there'd been another way. You got the job done. That's all that matters. Satisfied, Miranda? Almost. Let's try something more recent. Vermeyer, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility, you had to leave one of your squad behind to die in the blast. Lieutenant Caden Alenko was killed in action. It was your call. Why did you leave him behind? Being in command means that sometimes you give orders knowing that your people are going to die. That can't affect your decisions. Caden gave his life for the rest of the team. Without him, I couldn't have stopped Saren. He died a hero. I understand, Commander. And I wasn't judging your decision. Everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. There are other tests we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. The memories are there, and I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. I suppose you're right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. Talk to the elusive man. The elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. It's become like a sort of creature, you know. It's an entity. Customized gear. Oh. Helmet, no helmet. And seven helmet. Seven breather. On hood. Outfit is really good, but I don't know, it doesn't fit our face with. Shame because I like it. It's taking nonetheless. Oh. Okay, so that's my casual appearance. of man is waiting for you in the other room. I wouldn't keep the elusive man waiting. Everybody's talking about the elusive man. But 
this place what you call the other room it's like all the way down the mo the, the monster the corridor and stairs where is he it's like another plane of reality commander shepherd elusive man i thought we'd be meeting face to face not necessarily not precaution okay. it's not just unusual sitting. for people who know what you and i know and what exactly is it that you and i know that our place in the universe is more fragile than we'd like to think that one man one very specific man might be all that stands between humanity and the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memory still intact. How are you feeling? Cut to the chase. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. Hmm. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers, just as Saren and the Geth aided Sovereign. You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Why are you involved? We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us out, Cerberus will stop them. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. I still don't understand what, what is Cerberus, who is Cerberus, what did I miss about Cerberus, Mass Effect, Cerberus. Okay, so that's just the name of the organization that is said to be quite uh, terrorist, okay. So let me just hear Writing this out. Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Why are you involved? Okay. We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us out, Cerberus will stop them. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. You could have trained an entire army for what you spent to bring me back. You're unique. Not just in ability or what you've experienced, but in what you represent. You stood for humanity at a key moment. You're more than a soldier. You're a symbol. And I don't know if the Reapers understand fear, but you killed one. They have to respect that. No. Pretty sure they don't care. Sovereign was trying to harvest all life in the galaxy. Why would the Reapers target a few human colonies? Hundreds of thousands of colonists have vanished. I'd say that fits the definition of harvesting. Mm. Nobody's paying attention because it's random and the attacks occur in remote locations. I don't know why they've suddenly targeted humanity. Maybe you got their attention when you killed one of them. You could have trained an entire oh, army shoot. for what you spent to bring me back. You're unique. You stood for... And I don't know if the Reapers understand fear, but you killed one. That's the one that they I have to respect that. If this is a threat against humanity, you need to mobilize the Alliance. The Alliance is overwhelmed by the responsibility you gave them. They're too busy building relations to put resources into verifying the Reaper threat. Blaming uh. the abductions on mercs and pirates is easier and more convenient. If what you say is true, if the Reapers are behind this, I'd consider helping you. I'd be disappointed if you accepted any of this without seeing for yourself. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. Miranda killed Wilson in cold blood. Jacob's just a gun for hire. You expect me to trust them? Wilson was one of my best agents, but he was a traitor. Miranda did exactly what I expected of her, and she saved your life in more ways than one. Jacob's a soldier, one of the best. He's never fully trusted me, but he's always been honest about it. You'll be just fine with them. For now. What do you think I'll find there? If I knew that, I wouldn't need to send you. 
Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. Hmm. Interesting. I like this guy. Truth be told, I think I do know of him because I'm on Star Wars The Old Republic. Uh, at one time I was role playing a character and someone was saying that I reminded them of the elusive man of Mass Effect. But this is a thought that completely like when like I completely forgot until this very moment, like this very scene even, the opening like, it didn't click in my mind. But someone, but I think, yeah, I think it was the elusive man because I see the because the way the Elusive Man behaves, it reminds me of the character I used to roleplay in Star Wars Real Republic. So it checks out. So what now? The Elusive Man is very impressed with you. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on this mission. What's the matter, Lawson? Worried you're not his favorite anymore? I've proven my value to the elusive man. Let's hope you're able to do the same. We have to work together here. Your attitude isn't helping anything. I have the utmost respect for your abilities, Shepard. It's your motivations that concern me. I believe in what Cerberus stands for. Only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause. What would it be a liability? It's obvious you're not interested in talking. We've got an assignment. We can talk about it, or we can do it. I'm glad the elusive man convinced you to join us, Commander. I just agreed to work with him. I still don't trust him. Do you trust me, Commander? You're part of Cerberus. I'll be keeping an eye on you, too. Fair enough. I can't expect you to trust me just because I ask you. I'll just have to earn that trust. Why did you join Cerberus? I guess I just got tired of never making a difference. So much of what we did in the Alliance seemed pointless. I thought things would change after the attack on the Citadel. The old council was dead, and humanity took control of the new one. But nothing changed. Politics, bureaucracy, same bullshit, different leaders. Cerberus is different. When colonies go missing, we don't commission a team to write a report to figure out what the hell to do about it. We just go and find out. That's all for now. Yes, sir. Renegade. Okay, yes, sir. People were telling me that I didn't, that there was this Paragon and Renegade thing. I so Paragon, I think, is someone who's following, you know, like institutions and the square, and, and Renegade is a bit more ruthless. Mission complete. Experience gains, squad points, levels. Oh, good, it's the summary. Hmm. Hey. We should be there shortly, Shepard. The elusive man put us under your command. Do you have any orders? Still be alive. We're gonna find out who did this and take him down. Nothing gets in our way. Am I clear? Perfectly, Commander. Good to have you here, Shepard. We want answers. And answers we'll get. Once more, we'll save the galaxy.
really weird because it looks like I have creases in my skin that look like, you know, it's bleeding with energy. And what, ladies and gentlemen, um, since we are embarking on a new mission, I'm not gonna... We're gonna stop here for the very first episode on YouTube, uh, but I'm gonna continue playing, so... Thank you very much, guys, for being here. I hope that you're gonna enjoy this new Let's Play of Mass Effect, Mass Effect number two. Great start, strong start. Um, looking forward, obviously, to whatever's coming, and it's interesting new team. Curious to see. I hope that we're gonna get our team later. But it's refreshing having a new team. It feels like it's, it's a whole new game, especially since I changed the character. So yes, we're gonna be seeing you for part two. Until then, please take care. Have a nice night. See you soon. Bye.